Rise and shine! Huh? Top of the morning to ya! <laughs> Whoa now! Wouldn't try that if I was you! <laughs> Alright, follow me! Up, up. <laughs> Off we go! You just wait right there! Hey, boss! Your guests are here! Welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? The uh, merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. But which <laughs> one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? Dumbass. I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, why do you think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll Let's tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the dunes. Now I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? A little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pizzas. Hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of you. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say... There are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. Hmm. Can put a price on anything. Frick. Ah, uh -uh. that's Gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Later. All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> no need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. Keep them as pets. They're trained to leave you. That's right. You just follow me. Or run for it. Go on. See how far.
this move, we'll be all over you. Hey, no loitering! Yo! Roger new champ! Hmm. He's all yours! So, you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrinky. Hi, Master. Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? In a fire. <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. presents the one, the only, Desert Rush. For a limited time only, if you earn the high score, you'll get some rare greens. Step right up and give it a try.
Great job out there. Got some greens for you, as promised. Ah, oh, don't tell me you're not interested. I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's downright dying. But hey, I ain't picky. Listen up, asshole! Hey, Cloud, it's me, Sadly, This is a considerably dangerous location, so I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? Costumes like these are known to elicit a calming effect, so I should be safe. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Bear. I'm confident of his innocence, though and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. I hope you won't mind my mentioning, but I've observed that world intel collection is stalled of late. I'm certain, however, a veteran mercenary like you would never abandon a path. I know you must be busy, but I'd appreciate your help. No need to say a word. I already know your story. You're on the hunt for chocobo greens, am I right? Well... I'd be willing to scratch your back, provided you'd be willing to scratch mine. My casino happens to be plagued by a gaggle of rather eccentric Queensblood players. I'd love it if someone could take them down a notch or two. So, think you're up to the task? I'll handle it. Much obliged. Outlandish though they are, they play a mean game. So mean that it's scaring away my clientele. I need someone to get out there and prove they can be beaten. Got three troublemakers in total. Still looking for action, no doubt. Thanks in advance. Before you go, though, you should take a look at the cards I have for sale. I guarantee they'll come in handy. Circumstances. <sighs> well, I guess I could move my arms at least. <laughs> You're going to regret making me come to life.
You completely demolished me. Well played, good sir. But my problem is a bad I hope to join the Gold Saucer's grand stable of performers. That's why I'm trying to hone my skills by purposely putting myself in the harshest of environments. But my winning streak was starting to draw negative attention, so maybe losing was for the best. I'll be here for a while yet. If you would like to play another game, just let me know. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. There is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Novalon in North Corel. Having proven yourself as a knight, I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. They'd hurry up. Want to know my secret to victory? It's now. Mm -hmm. Oh, where have you been, handsome? I take it you're here to join me for a drink? Well, aren't you the sweetest little thing? Ugh. You big party pooper. Fine, be that way. Guess we'll play Queen's Blood instead. <laughs> oh no, don't even try to wiggle out of it. Because I'm Mary, darling dear. And when I've knocked a few back, nobody slips through my fingers. So, either you take a drink, or we play a game. Your choice. Shit. You got me good, hot stuff. Should have had more to drink. I have a confession to make. You see, my dear, even though it's my surefire ticket to victory, I've kind of been cutting back on the booze. Do you want to know why? A while back, I drank way too much, blacked out in the middle of a match, and had an awful nightmare. I dreamed this creaky stranger was trying to chat me up. Which is why this match totally doesn't count. I am still off my game. Next time, you better bet I'm gonna be sauced to the max. So watch out, boyo. Anyone do these cheats for us? 
What did I ever... What's up? What do you want? Oh, shit. I did it again! Hey, sorry! Old habit. No harm, man. Please don't go! I'm taking you! I only want to play a game of quiz work! I promise! That's all! I have a hard time talking to people and, well, I know I'm not the friendliest looking guy, so I can't convince anyone to go around. Anyway, uh, the name's Jack. You, uh, want to play with me? Pretty please? <laughs> that was even more fun than I'd imagined! I've been missing out. Prison ain't a great place to let your car down, you know? So I got into the habit of acting tough and yelling at anyone who looked at me funny. Kept me safe, but it also made good, decent people like you avoid me altogether. Even though I just wanted to play cards. I got so frustrated that no one would give me the time of day that I started to resent the stuffy bastards. <laughs> but I've got to change myself first if I want people to talk to me. Because you had the courage to approach me when no one else did. I know that now. So I'm going to do it like you and ask people to play, instead of waiting for them to come to me. Never heard of traveling card sharks. Uh, I wish they were so And there's the man of the hour. Thanks to your efforts, demand for Queen's Blood is back and stronger than ever. It's at an all-time high, which means my profits should be too. You did me a great favor. Take this as a token of my thanks. Before you go, though, I have some cards I'd highly recommend for a player as skilled as yourself. You won't want to miss out. People lose interest when they start thinking they can't win. That's why it's important to shake things up once in a while. By the way, don't breathe a word about this to the folks upstairs, unless you want to find yourself behind bars again. People around the prison have been telling me they get their birds sandbags to get them clean. I wonder if it's any better than the Maybe I'll give it a try with Pico. It's promising. Let's go somewhere more quiet.
I ain't gonna hurt ya. Promise. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't bite. Oh, am I holding you up? <laughs> Nothing interesting over there. It's about time. <laughs> you ain't getting away. Nothing interesting over there. Where do you think you're going? Nothing interesting over there. What you going that way for, man? Uh-huh. Keep going. You got it. Just... And here we are. <laughs> now we can have a nice private talk without anyone butting in. <laughs> it's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us later. Yeah! <laughs> I got your number. You had your chance. You're done. You know. You could have just told us you were out of our league. I mean, uh, thanks for the match. It was a real learning experience. Wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, right. We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Here. And with that, we'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Right, boys? Yeah. Very sorry to have troubled you, but we won't do it again! Promise! And that makes three. Once Pico's had his fill, he'll be ready to hit the track and win us that race. Welcome to Bale Jumper, watering hole for the dregs of the Dust Bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the ticking. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to in mages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. The place is crawling with them. Seem like a guy who can hold his liquor. That's our house specialty. Call it sunshine. We take moonshine and water it down so the flavor's just still perceptible. You're hitting that stuff pretty hard. Good thing it ain't too strong. It may be diluted, but it's got a refined taste. This shot of cocked water, Roman. Cut it with some sand. I'll wait right here. Leave the green hunting to you. We don't want to get in the way.
Celebrate. Let's 
do do that? Now Some bird, you know. We want equipment that'll accentuate his features. Yeah. Greetings, friends, and welcome to my swindling seminar. Today, for the very first time, I'll be unveiling the art behind the con, teaching you the tricks of my trade. Gone are the days of getting duped. Remove the wool over your eyes. And instead, join me in the fleecing. You, sir, have excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. <laughs> if you're looking for a place to get loaded, then look no further than Bail Jumper. It's the only bar that serves Cosmo Canyons. If you're looking for a place to get loaded, then look no further than Bail Jumper. You've been to the weapon shop? It's ridiculously loud in there. I like it though. Helps me relax. Plus they sell potions there too. Good tonight. You've been to the weapon shop? I like it though. Helps me relax. Plus they sell potions there too. You gotta check out Garf's autobiography, Meditations on the Underling Life. It's at the local bookstore. You gotta check out Garf's autobiography, Meditations on the Un- It's kind of weird, but Gus has a picture of Stamp on his wall. I swear, it looks like it could jump out and start licking your face. Hey, did you see the Stamp graffiti over at Gus's crib? He may be a pup, but he sure looks like a hero. You should test your might in the Beast Battleground. They've got a rare monster named Bug Zero. You should test your might in the Beast Battleground. They've got a rare monster named Bug Zero. Well, do you think you can figure out who's telling the truth? You gotta check out Garf's autobiography. Hey, did you see the stamp graffiti over at Gus's crib? He may be a... Congratulations! Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir! As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are hard to find in a place like this. Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? You better take home that trophy, you hear? Today's victory will be our stepping stone to the big one. The gold <laughs> cup. You want it? I know Lindo is ready to earn it all, but are you? If you value your life, get out. It was nothing. It must have been a kid, but I made it back in one piece. Got a lot of her blood? Then you've come to the right place. All our most heroic beings. 
for a thrill you won't find anywhere up top? Defeat a few fiends and there could be some fresh new greens in it for ya. Just like that, okay? Time to celebrate. Look at you go. Be sure to check out some of our other contests, too, if you're in the market for a little danger. Welcome to the famed Beast Battleground. Here we 
Let's go. You chicken? Is that your deal? Nothing suits the soul. It's my dream to be a caretaker of monsters. Six is plenty. Pico will get sluggish if he eats too much. Let's check in with Esther. Miss your chance to throw in your cards and get some. It's a start, but nowhere near enough. Yeah, he's looking a lot better now. But we could get him in great shape with a touch more. Pico's right as rain, and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. Ooh, looks like you brought the good stuff. those other jockeys. to believe this How is the same Pico that nearly died in the Indeed desert. There. You should have seen him that oh, first no day, the poor boy. Right. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me. In the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No pressure, though. Okay, on you go.
competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? A bug boy? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh-huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track, and all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills, or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. Ranch needs this win, so give it everything you got for us. Or we could team up, take Joe down a peg. Aw, a bug boy. I'll go easy on ya. Hey, I'm trying to manifest a win here. I will beat Joe. I will be famous. I will beat Joe. Just brushing up on my bird calls before the race. Quack! 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 Your first race ever, and it's with Joe? Well, try not to get trampled out there. You ready to make your debut in the racing world? 
Hyperion is Joe's bird, and it's a fast and rugged son of a bitch. Things bred to win. Our next race will begin shortly. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. You good to go? survived that recent shooting. <sighs> You're not talking about the Colosseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> You're so lucky. Aren't I just? Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Got eyes on him? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream! Is vanilla No, okay? vanilla. Seriously? I'm gonna keep stroke over here! I'm gonna die! You want that? Do ya? <sighs> Wish you were here, partner. <laughs> 